wanted to come on here and kind of record a little intro clip for this video. I am going to put some leg day footage from my hypertrophy leg day the other day at the end of this video. I think for this one I am going to do more of an informative uh, voiceover for the workout, kind of let you know what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, what muscles it's targeting, and kind of how my program is built out. Um, so if you guys like that for workouts, please definitely comment down below and let me know. Or if you like kind of the music over the workouts where I just list out the reps and sets that I'm doing, uh, definitely let me know that so I know for in the future. Um, but I did want to pop on here and kind of talk about something that kind of struck in my mind this morning. Um, I follow a bunch of social influencers which really inspired me to do what I'm doing today um, and really take the plunge and follow what I'm passionate about. And Passion is kind of what I wanted to touch on, and if you don't follow Amanda Bucci, I definitely recommend go, going and following her. I've been following her for a few years, and I really started to follow her when I was starting to take my health and fitness a little more seriously, and I could definitely tell that um, she had a passion for health and fitness, and her transformation was awesome, and just kind of watching her journey into her competitions and things like that, um, it was really inspiring to me. Um, but recently she's really started to share kind of her business side of her life as well and that is just so much more inspiring than anything I've seen. She's so driven, she is doing everything she can, she is putting everything into her passion. And that's honestly what my goal is in 2017. I told myself in 2016 I was going to get certified, I was going to expand my knowledge so I could help people really feel that feeling of self-love and self-confidence that I kind of felt through changing, making my own transformation. I want to be able to pass that on to others. And now that I am certified and I do have this education behind me, I want to build a platform where I can expand this passion and this knowledge that I have to other people. And so for 2017, my goal is to really build my own personal brand and help people get that feeling because honestly, I feel like it's the best feeling in the world. The past year has honestly been life-changing for me and I truly have um, let my passion kind of fuel my fire and make the decisions that I've made based on what I feel is best for me. Not what I think other people are gonna think is best or what other people, I don't, what, it, what I guess I'm trying to say is I don't let other people's view of things kind of make my decisions for me, I guess is the best thing. I don't let other people influence my decisions. Obviously, when I'm making my decisions, I'm thinking what's best for me, what's best for my boyfriend, my family, my friends, but ultimately, if at the end of the day, your decision isn't gonna make you happy, it's not a decision that you should be making. You have to make sure you're making your decisions for yourself. And ever since I started doing that, the opportunities that have come up have been amazing. But you also have to make sure that you're kind of keeping yourself in check because I was in that mindset where I need to take every opportunity that comes my way. I need to say yes, yes, yes. Never say no. And so that's what I was doing. I was saying yes. I was taking on everything I could. I was pulling things from every direction. And I honestly took on too much at once. I stretched myself too thin. And thank goodness I realized it. So I was starting to feel really overwhelmed. And I'm a very like structured person. Um, and I hate feeling like I'm quitting, so this was kind of a hard decision for me, but I really sat down, I wrote down everything that I was taking on responsibility-wise, whether it was work, it was personal, anything, and I wrote my end goal of building my own personal brand at the bottom and building my own company at the bottom of this page, and I drew lines from anything that was really helping me take steps towards that end goal, I drew lines down to that goal, and if it wasn't, I crossed it out. And at the end, I was letting my passion kind of fuel my pen because that these things were what was going to help me get to that end goal. And if it wasn't, then it was not something I needed to be putting my effort or time towards. So um, my schedule has kind of cleared up a little bit, which is why I am starting this YouTube. And I think it's a great way for me to kind of connect with you guys on a more personal level and really start building that personal brand. And I'm really ready to make some changes, take the plunge even more, and um, going back to Amanda Bucci, she posted a video this morning where she 
she's been mentored by a lot of business professionals and she has seen so much benefit from that that she's actually taking on 20 clients to mentor really how to build your own online business and with her following and her platform I'm sure there's going to be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of applicants but I did take the plunge I applied I mean what do I have to lose right I know what I want and I'm gonna take every step I can to get to that end goal so in the end when you find that one thing you're passionate about, let it fuel your fire, let it drive your decisions because in the end, you never know where you're gonna end up or where it's gonna take you and the possibilities are endless. So that's kind of my insight, that was my motivation today. I really got a new amount. I already had a fire lit under my butt but that video just like bumped it up a hundred times. So thank you Amanda Bucci for lighting that fire even more and I hope this video can reach some of you guys and kind of do the same for you. So I hope you guys enjoy the leg day footage and as always, like and subscribe for more and let me know what you wanna see next. Talk to you guys later. Hey guys, like I said, I'm gonna hop on here and give you an informative voiceover of my hypertrophy leg workout. So I hope you guys enjoy. We started with some sumo deadlifts. We did three by 15 on this. And I've really been focusing on sumo deadlifts over conventional because I did pull my intercostal back in November and this puts less tension on the lower back. You want to really engage your lats, pull the slack out of the bar and really push through the floor to get that weight up. We then moved on to leg press where I have a high and wide foot placement to really focus on my glutes again. We did three by 15 here, and if you have tight hip flexors like me, I find that pulling my lower back off the back of the seat really helps release that pressure. Moving on to barbell hip thrusts. These, again, three by 15, pushing through your heels and really squeezing at the top. I like to pause at the top to really activate my glutes, and pulling your feet back towards your butt will activate your glutes more as well. Moving on to the more accessory movements of the workout, we started with some walking dumbbell lunges supersetted with body weight squats. So with these lunges, my coach does want them glute focused again. So taking longer strides and really making sure I'm pushing through that heel and feeling it in my glute when I'm coming up more than I am my quads. And with the body weight squats, we really went down as low as we could with that full hip thrust at the top and squeeze the glutes. Really in any glute focused exercise, you really wanna make sure you are pushing through that heel, pushing through the ground and squeezing at the top of any movement you're doing and that's really gonna help activate those glute muscles. And when I really started to paying attention to activation over weight, I saw tremendous growth in my glutes. Moving on to the next superset, we did stiff leg deadlifts on the T-bar row machine and we supersetted that with banded sidewalks. I did add the band or my hip circle to my stiff legged deadlifts just for some extra glute activation. Again with that hip thrust and squeeze at the top and pushing through those heels. Now with these side steps, you want to make sure you're squatting as low as you can really feeling that glute activation and I like to actually touch my glutes to make sure they are fully activated. So ending our supersets for glutes and hamstrings with single leg hamstring curls. On these you really want to make sure you're pulling your hip into the seat and using only your hamstring to pull the weight up not your lower back. We supersetted these with a glute ham raise on the hyperextension machine. These are killer for a burnout. Uh, just make sure you're not going down all the way and then coming up to the top and really using those glutes to pull yourself up and not using the lower back again at all. These you really want to make sure you're feeling that burn in the lower hamstrings and the glutes and not your lower back. We did 3 by 15 on the leg curls and then supersetted it with 3 by 30 on the hyper extension. And we ended our workout with a little calf superset. Seated calf raises supersetted with single leg standing calf raises. And after three sets of 20 of each of these, we were spent. Hey guys, just wanted to pop on here and thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed that leg workout footage. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions 
that was my hypertrophy leg day. So right now I am on a nonlinear progression training split. So I do have one power leg day a week, one power upper body day a week, two hypertrophy upper body days a week, and then one hypertrophy leg day a week. So on my hypertrophy leg days, my reps are higher and my weight is lower. Um, I do have focus lifts both for upper and lower body that me and my coach have decided on and he really builds the program around those lifts and I do test my max at the beginning of the six week progression and he builds the weights around those maxes to ultimately hit a new PR at the end of that six week progression. Um, so I will write down, I won't include the weights because you definitely want to make sure that you're using a weight that you are comfortable with, but I will write down below in the description box, the full workout with all the reps and, uh, sets that we did do. I was working out with my friend, Ashley. She is my teammate from total nutrition Linwood and just moved up to Lake Stevens and joined the same gym as me. So you will be seeing a lot more of her. I will link her information in the description box as well. And if you have any questions, again, make sure and write them down below and let me know what you guys want to see next. Talk to you guys soon.